I've had a fairly busy day today and it seems like whenever I have super busy days and then I come home by myself, that tends to be like the prime time for anxiety to just like show up. <laughs> I don't know what it is and I haven't quite figured out where it comes from, what causes it. Uh, it just kind of happens every so often and it's been this way for three and a half, almost four years now. So anxiety is one of those things that definitely comes in waves and there are certain moments where I really notice it more so than others. Like in the winter, it tends to be much worse than in the summer. Um, I notice it so much more like spring and fall kind of when the temperature's fluctuating a lot, especially in Indiana. Like one day it could be 50 and the next day it could be 20 and the next day it could be 80. And it's really hard to come to terms with the fact that like I might have this for the rest of my life. Um, when I first started having anxiety, I had no clue what it was. I was afraid to tell anyone because I thought I was just going crazy. And then I finally told my parents what was going on. They said, oh yeah, that's anxiety. And it didn't get any better, so I ended up going to see a therapist. And she pretty much told me that like the root of my anxiety was the situations I'd been going through. Um, it seemed very situational. And she told me that I, you know, had the right thought process. I was doing everything correctly. I was eating right. I was sleeping enough. I had the right headspace to like talk myself out of anxiety. And while all those things are like still totally true, it hasn't gone away. Three and a half years later, it's still prevalent in my life. And there are times where it's more so, times where it's less so, but it's still around all the time. And I just like really wish I could sit here and say that I've gotten over anxiety and I figured out how to deal with it and I know better now, three years later, <laughs> that exactly how to deal with it and whatnot. And it sucks to come to terms with the fact that all you can do is manage it. For me, when I found out I had celiac disease, it was such a big deal because up until then, I had just been managing my symptoms. So like, I had stomach aches, I tried to eat better, um, I had acid reflux, so I took over-the-counter acid reflux medicine, and I was just treating symptoms, and I was just managing it. And then when I found out I had celiac disease, it was like, okay, there's finally like a thing I can do to fix it. And it just makes you feel so much better when you get to like the root of the problem. Anxiety's not like that, at least not for me. There's, I mean, there's a root of the problem, but it's not something that I can just fix um, now that I know that it's anxiety or now that I've been through therapy or whatever. Like, I'm just managing it. And it's a hard thing to like come to terms with, I'll be honest. like. I still haven't come to terms with it, and I still feel like there's part of me that's hoping one day it'll just stop coming back, but the other half of me kind of knows that it's not that kind of anxiety. It's one of those things I wish I could sit here and like tell you if you're also going through anxiety. I wish I could tell you that like down the road it was all just gonna be fixed and you were gonna look back on this time and like just laugh that you thought this was the end of the world, but unfortunately I don't think this is always one of those problems. Not to say it's not. A lot of the things I stressed about when I was in high school and the things I worried about when I was in college are replaced by new worries. That's not to say that a lot of the worries you have go away, um, but I feel like they often get replaced by new things, and at least in my experience. And unfortunately, the only way I've found to like deal with my anxiety is to avoid the situations that make me anxious as best I can. Leaning on the people that know about my anxiety and care about me enough to want to help me through it. And then just like general self-care type of stuff. I always notice I get really stressed at the end of the day, especially if it was a really stressful or busy day. I notice I get really anxious at the end of it. And just knowing that and allowing myself to be okay just going home from things and like being by myself at the end of the night and going through like my evening routines that calm me down and get me ready for bed and that sort of thing. So I found self-care just like noticing when you're feeling anxious and letting yourself take time to just manage it and take care of it as best you can um, and not trying to push yourself. You know, caring for yourself all the time and not just when you get anxious. Um, if you watched my last vlog, I spent the whole weekend just by myself relaxing, not scheduling my time, not making a to-do list. Like, I spent the whole weekend just 
doing whatever I felt like doing at the moment. And I feel like those self-care weekends and just days or hours or whatever it is, is just so important for your mental health. It's so easy to get into the mindset of like, oh my god, I worried for nothing, I'm such an idiot, like why do I do this to myself? And to really get into like a spiral of thought where you really just get down on yourself for your anxiety. And I find that's one of just the worst things to do. I think one of the biggest things that's been helpful to me is just acknowledging that I have anxiety, acknowledging when I start to feel it and not trying to pretend that it's not happening or put myself down for the fact that it's happening. I acknowledge it and I take the steps that I need to take to try and de-stress from it. So for me, that's like walking away from whatever I'm doing, um, taking a shower, taking my makeup off. I love doing like face masks, um, just reading a book or watching YouTube and laying in bed, most importantly. Like one of the best ways that I feel less anxious is just like being in my bed. <laughs> and I've just found these certain things that really help my mind just relax and help me just remember that like it's gonna be okay you're anxious but you're gonna go to bed and you're gonna wake up tomorrow morning and you're gonna be fine and just acknowledging that like these thoughts might not be real they're not what's really happening but they are still your thoughts and they're valid and you shouldn't put yourself down for having them. If you've watched my past couple of videos, I was talking about a survey. A lot of you have taken that survey and a lot of you have told me that one of the hardest things you're dealing with in your life right now is anxiety. And one, I hope it makes you feel a little better that all of us are here together and we all have the same struggles. And I hope it makes you feel a little better that I go through the same things and I want to try and give you as best of advice as I can. Um, I obviously can't fix it for you because I can't fix it for myself. I wanna try and acknowledge more when I'm having these feelings because I think it helps for us to like know that we're all in this together. So I'm gonna go get into my routine now, take my makeup off. I am currently reading Will Grayson, Will Grayson, John Green, David Levithan. I can't believe I haven't read this yet. It's been on my bookshelf forever. I also just read Simon and the, no, Simon versus the Homo Sapien Agenda. Is that what it's called? Honestly, I read it in one night. I got in bed at 8.30 and I read it by 11.30. <laughs> like I started and finished it in three hours. I really liked that book. It was really good. I'm excited for the movie that's coming out soon. So highly recommend that one. And I was in the mood for another like quick why fiction read. So now I'm on Will Grayson, Will Grayson and I'm very excited about it. So that's what my evening's gonna look like. And I will see you guys tomorrow for hopefully a less stress-filled, anxious day. to show you um, for anyone out there who is gluten-free like I am um, I found something today so it turns out Panera has take-home soups that are gluten-free if you've had success actually eating at a Panera um, let me know I'd love to be able to eat there I'm just apprehensive but I found these at Target and the ones that I saw that were gluten-free they had a chicken tortilla soup um, they also had a turkey sausage kale and quinoa sounds healthy um, there's a baked potato soup and a tomato bisque so all of them sound super delicious I'm really excited to try them um, and I just wanted to let you know that those are an option if you have to eat gluten-free as I do
spend another day um, vlogging from my bed. <laughs> I feel a little bit like I overdid it this weekend, or maybe it's just one of those weekends, I don't know. Just seems to be one of those weekends where my brain is not going to shut up at all. It's funny how sometimes you can have an anxiety driven or just like a negative fearful thought and it'll just pass and then other times it just like sticks in your head <laughs> it will not go away and you just cannot think of anything else other than this thought and unfortunately i spent my entire weekend feeling that way so it's about eight o'clock now and i think i'm just gonna have to call it a night and call it a vlog. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I don't feel like I filmed very much. I don't feel like I was very excited or enthusiastic or just helpful or interesting at all. Um, <laughs> if you also have anxiety, I encourage you to go see someone. I'm honestly at the point where I think I might be headed in that direction again, so if you have never gone to see a therapist or have never talked to anyone about what you're dealing with, I'd say now's the time. You can do it with me. I think we need to make 2018 a year of putting ourselves first, putting mental health first, and just trying to make ourselves a priority, I think. So that's all I have for this video. I'm sorry it's been um, not great, possibly for you. Um, hopefully you got something out of it. Here's to a good mental health week, both for you and for me. Um, and I will see you next week with another video. Bye guys.